Oh, hey, Mike, you got our green sofa back, finally. Where was it? Oh, no, this isn't the original green sofa. I smashed that one up with hammers, you know, like Marie Kondo says. Probably. She doesn't say that. But then, where did you get this one? Oh, well, I looked around to find one that was identical to the old one. No luck. But then I found this in a mysterious and spooky old shop. It's probably haunted. Right, is this your roundabout way of explaining why the studio is so cold? Yeah, uh, ghosts. Ghosts are cold. Right, and it's not that you didn't pay the heating bill and spent all that money on toy cars. Andy, when are you going to open your mind to possibilities beyond the reach of your precious science? Right, then what's this? Couldn't tell you. What have you been doing here anyway? I thought you were going to go meet Jane in town or something. Well, yeah, I was, but then I read her text and it said, come and play Crackdown 3. I mean, it's obviously a prank. Crackdown 3 doesn't exist. She may as well have written, come into town and look at a unicorn with me. I'm pretty sure Crackdown 3 does exist. I got a press release from Microsoft and everything. Give me a call if the unicorn's real too. Jane, Jane, I'm so are. sorry. I thought what the that, hell? I thought that Crackdown Three didn't exist. Well, you were wrong. Let's get in there, play some Crackdown Three. All right. If it, are you genuinely sure it exists? For sure. Okay. If you just come right this way, you'll see it's not oh. a trap, and there's definitely a Crackdown Three. Now, now that you've said trap, I'm worried it's a trap. <laughs> Who said trap? Not me. What? All right. All right. I'm gonna go in. And... It's real. If it's, if it's, it's a trap, here. let's go. I'll grab words. <laughs> Well, hello, Andy. Thank you for joining me here. Jane, I cannot believe I'm you're playing, playing Crackdown, Crackdown 3, 3 right now. It's real. It's real, it's and here. And it exists. And you're playing it, and you're Terry Crews. Yeah. And what I'm, more could you possibly I'm Terry ask Cruz, for? Terry Crews, I'm also being shot in the head. You That's the other thing I was I'm pranking doing. you. I did. Mm -hmm. I, I, I honestly the level of distrust. never thought we would see this. After they announced this in, what? 2016? Yep, E3 2016. Yeah, and I, ha I haven't seen it myself since it was a, a cloud-powered uh, tech demo which was a while ago. Yeah, because then um, they were like, at subsequent E3s, they were like, now, we just want to assure you that Crackdown 3 <laughs> is real. Don't even worry about and it. It does exist. Yeah. One thing we can all agree is, is that Crackdown it's real. Crackdown 3 is very real. Yeah, but look, it is. It, it sure is. is real yeah, it feels it. like a while since we've uh, got eyes on it. Yeah. I haven't actually got hands on it before. No. Like you are right now. Like I am right and now. And I believe Mike did, but it was a while back. So yeah. it's actually... Pretty, pretty special, pretty exciting I'm, I'm to digging, have hands on this yeah. almost mythical game. I'm digging yeah. the way it looks. I'm enjoying this sort of slightly cell shaded Yeah, Terry yeah, Crews. Terry Crews <laughs> going on. And also the whole deal. Um, yeah. yeah, this whole sci-fi city very thing is very cool. Very. Um, I don't know if, if you played much of the previous Crackdown 1, Crackdown 2, sure. Um, we were it, saying earlier about how everyone played it because it came with the Halo beta. Well, that was the only reason I... <laughs> I got cracked yeah. down in And you were all poised to frisbee the disc yeah. into the bin. And, and then just, you thought, and then what I was is like, this you know Crackdown 1? Let's have a look at this game. Let's try Crackdown 1. So I fished one. it out of the bin yeah. <laughs> and put it in. And actually, <laughs> Dusted it off. Crackdown 1 was great. It was. Um, you spent all your time running around collecting a jersey or right. release. That's what yeah. I remember doing. Yeah. But um, it's actually a really good game there. The, the open world. It was yeah. just like a big open world playground for you to run around yeah. being a superhero yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, jerk bag to people. But now Crackdown 3 joins a, a time and a place where there's, there's quite a Few of these like open world sandbox over the top, yeah. Well, kind of superhero games. I mean, the Saints Row games really sort of took realize. what Crackdown was doing and mm -hmm. um, sort of amped it up mm -hmm. to the nth degree. So the stakes are high. So um, the bar is raised. Yeah, but it's you know it's. But who's got Terry Crews? Who has got Terry Crews? It's a fair point. I don't know if you played Crackdown too. It definitely was not as good. Sure. Um, and I don't know if that's because like a load of other games were doing. Because like Prototype had come out since then, uh -huh, and uh -huh. um, like Infamous sure. and all these other games that are like following the same sort of uh, template. Sure. So it's, le it's it's sort of way less of a um, uh, unique thing now. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with this to make it sort of stand out well, now that a bunch of other games have cloud been. powered servers. Yeah. Well, yeah, the multiplayer, I In think. In multiplayer, is be not right now. No, you're, you're not yeah. currently Ooh. being powered Whoa. by the cloud. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! That explosion not brought to you by the cloud, but by <laughs> local processing only. But what other game can you play a flaming Terry Crews mm. in? Mm. Very from, few. Oh look, a little smart car. A little smart car, a little neon smart car. Little Tron smart yeah. car. Yeah, it's like if Tron had right, environmentally responsible the smart cars. So the way that Crackdown games usually works is you've yep. got like um, different uh, like targets sure. in like a Look crime all syndicate. These lieutenants, yeah. And you've got to like do missions that uh, increases your intel sure. about them. Yes. So it's basically your standards, like yeah. open world. I know. Thing. Not but, my first um, open world rodeo. 
Yeah, but it's sort of sticking to that template, which is cool. Yeah. Um, Soon we'll see an orb, I expect. Oh my god, orbs. Let's find an orb. Yeah, so we're playing like a low level early game agent, yep. right? Agent Got Jackson, a little, a little, to give him his actual name. A little jet. Oh, yeah. Um, Just a little bit of jetpack. But that's, yeah, in a second we'll load a, a higher level, higher character. level character. There you go. Free mini orbs. Yeah, got mini orbs, yeah. but what I want is those Big, sweet delicious. green agility yeah. orbs. Someone they just make that, me hungry for four orbs. That sound that they make. <laughs> They're usually up high, aren't they? Yeah. Because you've got to be agile to get there, oh. which is, you know, you've got to spend mm. agility to get agility, yeah. as they say. <laughs> Jane, look. Shipping <gasps> It's only a All the more bloody it's agility orb. Go and collect that orb. I'm being agile. Yes, oh, I'm, that's I'm getting more agile. That's the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's Terry Crews yeah. vibrating with agility orb. Terry Crews just huffing agility orbs. <laughs> oh, I, is that another one? Over there. Oh my god, you're oh, wait, they're you're everywhere. Only right. This is, everywhere. This is how they get you. Yeah. The key to taking There's out always a another just agility orb. Their vehicles. Uh. Drop right. any right. and Can we make this? Yes. Do you have enough agility to get that agility orb? No. No, it turns out. Come back later. Wait. I can get up there. I, I, oh. I can do it. It's okay. a puzzle. It's like, that's the, that's oh, the okay. good thing. You want to do some puzzle platforming? About Crackdown. Yeah. I mean, the good and bad thing about yeah. it. Some of the platform puzzles oh. are an absolute nightmare. Yeah. But Let's find yeah, out you can always this, this figure out a way to do something, okay. even when you're not agile enough, yeah. or you think you are. Yeah. You just have to believe. To believe in you your agility. The deal, agent. Okay. Drop the now, force little more scramble, Terry. <laughs> okay, sky. good. Well, well okay, done. And then over here. That orb is yours. It's so close, I can taste it. And then up Tastes this side. Like, so on this side of the building. Uh, gooseberry. It's that kind of green. Oh, yeah, green gooseberry. Mm. All right, and then. Or lime, possibly lime. We just got to drop down. <laughs> Terry. It's in beer case. Terry, I'm serious. Okay. <laughs> Dropping down. There we yeah. go. We got it. See? Oh, and another one. Oh my god, I'm gonna be here for days. All right, let's try loading up a high-level character. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we've got a slightly souped-up yeah. agent here. You notice I'm running a bit faster. Yeah, I do. Jumping agent a Chapman. bit higher. I've got grenades well, and such. Yeah. And also, I can do a little uh, air Came dash. Back stronger. Good. Well done. Oh my god, agility orb. Here's I will. An agent. We leveled will earlier. Them. We didn't know oh really. Yes, agility orb. I love it. Cool. Can we see like the skill tree, the menu with the uh, leveled-up character? Yeah, let's have a look at the character. Let's have a look. Let's take a look at your agent. Here she is. So you got, got boosters. Uh, yeah, agency launch pad. Air dash. Oh, you oh, can make a little dope. Oh, make nice. your own portable launch pad. Double dash. I love it. It's uh, a triple hmm. dribble. What do you think so far from what you've what we've seen today? Of yeah, it looks real good fun. We haven't actually tried the cult. We're about to go and play some multiplayer. Yep. Which so is uh, the, the right, cloud powered goodness we've heard about. Um, I'm excited for that. And I think it could be really good fun to play in, uh, in two player. You yes. Know? Yeah, definitely. Like a bit of co op. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, so far I'm just uh, I'm just impressed it exists. Um, <laughs> oh. So. <laughs> Yeah, so it remains to be seen once we actually get some proper long-term hands-on time with it. Um, but yeah, it's bringing back fond memories of the original Crackdown. Yeah, yeah. Which is cool. Oh, oh isn't that the agility? It is, okay. yeah. Right. So okay. now, you can see that now I'm now a lot more agile. Now you've got the agility. I can, like you don't even need it. I don't it. even need to go around the other side. Yeah. Woo. I also know I'm going to be putting all of my skill points into agility and just zooming around the place Absolutely. like an absolute legend. That's so do you think plan. not bothering with cars then? Mm. Are you like I don't driving? Think so. Why would oh, you know? A, well, quite huh. exactly. I kick this car to pieces though. That's fun. Oh no, I'm on fire. <laughs> so do you believe me now that Crackdown Three is truly, really a thing? Uh, it's really yeah. coming out? I mean, this would be an extremely elaborate prank <laughs> for you to have coded this entire thing. Yeah, uh, psych. So, so yeah, now. I can't believe you believe me. <laughs> so yeah, this now. This is the best Jane prank ever. I do believe you now. Excellent. The crackdown three Good. is a thing. Well, I'm glad you joined me to try this. Uh, yeah. This little bit of crackdown three right. here. I guess Expect I... more of it on the channel coming very soon. If yeah. you want to get deeper with uh, crackdown three, when find is out out? more stuff. It is coming out on February the fifteenth, twenty nineteen. Ah, soon. Okay. All right. Cool. cool. Now Great. let's uh, let's call Mike. And get him to come see but about uh, that unicorn. Oh yeah, I was going to ask, is He's that unicorn so gullible. around here? No, no? there's oh, no okay. unicorn. Cool, cool. But I All feel right. like Mike might be persuaded. <laughs> okay, sounds good. All right, I take it back. It turns out Crackdown 3 was real. Ah, how about the unicorn? I think that was just a horse wearing a hat. I don't know, it was a confusing afternoon. All right, well, if you'd like something that isn't confusing, how about we take a look at the comments? I can see you haven't done these for a while. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Outside Xbox, you're watching Show of the Week. I'm Mike. Mike, where's the sofa? No, 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 you say, and I'm Andy. What, what I am 
is standing up because there isn't a sofa. <laughs> well, how about we start off with the comments on last week's show? Okay. Of the week, do you remember that one? Uh, vaguely, yeah. What, what was it about then? Um, was it Resident Evil? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Good. It was, well done. You've got a test, you passed the first test. Yes. Uh, all right, so uh, we're going to start off with um, a comment from Beth Bloomer, uh, cool. who says, is this whole sofa sketch an elaborate cover-up for Andy having broken the green sofa cover? Has he graduated from trophies and moved on to bigger things? Sketch, this is reality. Yeah. This is hard-bitten reality television. Yeah, I did break the trophy, the original Showdown of the Week you trophy. You certainly did, yeah. Um, and it was, it was, it's on camera, me breaking it, because I dropped it in... Devastating. Yeah, probably got a clip. Mine too. Boo! There, comfort handful of weird stuff. I wasn't scared. Of course not. I think it was petulant. Because had we lost it at that point, or did we ha did we own it at that point? No, we'd won it. Right. That's, oh, that's why well, we had what it. What were you thinking? I, I don't know. You should have been guarding it with your life. Yeah, but comments to the Rupert Lisbon made us a much nicer one. That's true. That we've got now. Yeah. So that's you so. Know, in a way, really, we really didn't stuff. learn a lesson. I should break more stuff. Yeah. I should break this couch, and someone will send us a beautiful leather bonquet. I only. To lie on. <laughs> I only just got this couch from the haunted. Mystery store thing. Man, I can't keep up with our internal chronology. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> yes. it's like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. No, you know, uh, you know a leather bonquette would work because we could just recline. Yes. I noticed Dave from PlayStation Access is here. They're not making you do this, are they, Dave? I, I was flat out refused. Flat out like, refused. There's no way I'm doing it. That wasn't an option for you, Andy. We didn't put flat You're not going in there, Andy. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going in there. Never odd eight Dor. Oh my god. <laughs> Never odd eight Dor. Dor oh, it's, oh my god, what a great name. It it's rhymes. like Neverod 8 and then Neverod backwards, so Duraven. Says, seeing Dave from PlayStation Access was a cool Easter egg. I didn't even think you guys existed in the same universe. I mean, we do. Yeah, there's only one universe. <laughs> so, Well, actually, Andy, multiverse theory <laughs> oh, uh, posits that actually perhaps there are multiple parallel universes uh, one of which doesn't have one of which doesn't have a PlayStation access in. Wow. Um, it's that universe is lost. Cause they <laughs> um, no, yeah, we, we were at the um, the Resident Evil. Yeah, event imagine thing. it as a delightful real life Easter egg for us every time we meet PlayStation access. Yeah, we just bumped into um, uh, Dave there, and mm. we just asked him if he wouldn't mind being in the show of the week. Yes. So and at so, first he refused, but then we wore him down. Yeah, those are the kind of cameos <laughs> that I like because they're extremely easy to set up. Yes, <laughs> and that you've both been invited to the same location yeah, by the same place. external party. And you don't have to set anything yeah. up at all. Yeah, what I liked good. was when I asked Dave whether he was going to do the experience and he laughed in my face and said no. Are you going to be holding Mike's hand at least? No, he's not even coming I'm in. I'm not going in. What are you, mad? Wise, wise Mike. That was all authentic <laughs> reaction from yeah. Dave. Because uh, he's like the resident coward of PlayStation. Yes, that's right. I love it. When it comes to horror games. And um, yeah, and I am our equivalent of that. And yet I had to do it. Yeah. Well, so, it's more fun if the coward does it, isn't it? Yeah, is it though? I would have just walked through the, the place with a stony expression on my face and wow. got to the end and gone, well, that was interesting. See, we've done some cameos on PlayStation Access, so haven't occasionally, we? Occasionally, yeah. yeah we've we've been occasionally been asked. I think we were in their million subscribers video, weren't we? Rementhus, Patrick Harrison, Alexander the Grape, and basically loads of you ask if we know outside Xbox and if we'd ever collaborate with them. Well, what do you think, guys? Is there any way you'd ever come on our channel, even just for a couple of seconds, as part of a throwaway joke? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, but yeah. now that we've put Dave in our video, the ball's in your court, PlayStation X. Yeah, so get us. When's yeah. our next camera? When are we on next? Next the time you demand it. Yeah, let us know if you think we should collaborate. Let us know and then let Nen know and then arrange for us to be in the same place. Yes. It's extremely easy to collaborate, and then that would be good. You should do that. Um, speaking of the theatre thing, uh, Jack Chatham says, Erg, interactive theatre, that's a hundred times more terrifying than facing a real life zombie. <laughs> yeah, some uh, some drama school yeah. people. Did you, did you get to walk, like, walk through the yes. bit that we did the thing in? Yeah. And what did you think? Uh, I thought it looked, I liked the set in the uh, with the statue and all that kind of stuff. There weren't any zombies in that room, so. Yeah. That was my favourite bit. I was, um, I was wearing a chess-mounted GoPro, and I don't know if you've ever tried to film with a chess-mounted GoPro. No, I've only put chess-mounted GoPros on other people. I was sort of very conscious of the fact of where my chest was pointing, so I was going through the entire experience like this, and sort of like when people were talking, I was trying to angle <laughs> my chest towards them, and it must have, I must have looked quite strange, yeah. I think. Walking around like... Yeah, with the, with the curved spine, curvature of the spine. The whole thing was about 10 minutes long, but I cut it, I cut it right down because it was so dark, 
and a lot of the time I was looking at the wrong thing because my chest was pointing in the wrong direction. <laughs> and they were like, oh yeah, we'll give you like a security camera feed of the entire thing. And then it just, so it just didn't materialize. Yeah. On so, the day they were um, like, nope, we don't have any of that. So yeah, I got some good shots of people going, that was good. It was atmospheric. It gave people a taste of the flavour of the thing. Yeah, a taste of the flavour of exactly. the thing. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's what we aim for here yeah. on uh, Outside Xbox. Oh, new tagline. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of like our new show of the week format, yes. Krona Trigger. Mm. Cronut's um, Trigger. Yeah, Krona Imagine Trigger. Imagine that. <laughs> got oh no. You've got your finger on the Krona Trigger. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You might have to pull the Krona Trigger. Yeah. Uh, it says, I like the new format, but not as a replacement for the old format. The ideal for me would be to have the old style of show of the week, the script itself, challenge of the week, etc., and this as something like chat of the week or something. <laughs> so two, two, two videos. Yeah. <laughs> so do two, two. What you're saying is twice you want as to many work videos. An extra yeah. two days a week. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem feasible to do both. No. Um, there seem to be, like, the majority of the comments seem to like the more chatty mm. um, approach. Uh, I think some people think it's quite long, so we're going to try and keep these ones a bit shorter this week. Yeah. Um, just so it doesn't drag on and get boring. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which, ideally. Um, but yeah, I think people are enjoying the, like, look behind the scenes stuff. Yes. Maybe. Yep. Um, this is what we're like in real life, if you ever wondered. Yeah. Um, yeah, Only with more swearing. Well, <laughs> I don't swear. It's like a sailor. What? F you. <laughs> F you. <laughs> uh, okay, do you remember this video, Mike? The one about times you could go anywhere, but uh, you shouldn't. Some games get creative with it, concocting in-world explanations for why you're being assassinated by psychic snipers for having the temerity to go exploring. Others just stick a bunch of nightmare monsters in your path to crunch you senseless. Yes. Yeah. I remember that one. Yeah, this was, um, I think, inspired by, you know, in Red Dead Redemption 2 when you try and go to the bit from the first game. Yes, I remember that, yeah. yeah and you get, like, killed by Inst supernatural yeah. bounty hunters who warp into existence and dome you and then... Yeah, vanish. I remember that being one of my challenges of the week, I think. Yeah, well, there was a bit in... Um, there's a bit in the video which is some footage I, I captured um, just with, before we'd even started doing this, where I just wanted to see if I completely, like changed, in in the dark. completely yeah. changed my appearance, wore clothes I'd never worn before, and had like a sack over my head. And I was like, under cover of darkness, yeah. I, I put like one toe into the area. And a horse and the, teleports these in These three much. guys just ride over a little <laughs> hill next to me and like, he's one of Vanderlyn's <laughs> lieutenants, get him fellas. And I'm like, what? Uh, why are they so like? But why they're, is they're the on it. law enforcement in West Elizabeth so much more on it than the ones elsewhere? I don't know. Is they, it separate jurisdictions? How does this thing work? Yeah, it's it's the Wild West. Like, Everyone's a criminal. You know how like American society yeah. um, sort of started over there and it moved across yeah. America. And so I think maybe like West Elizabeth is it's where all the lawmen have got to, and they're about to move into the next bit. To right. Sort of Deadwood it up. You know how Deadwood is all about ah oh, the government coming in. Ruining you know, our stop, fun. Yeah, you know, stop us running all these horrible brothels. <laughs> and, but you're, and that's that's what they're they're doing, isn't it? They so they just haven't crossed that river. They just haven't crossed the river yet. But they're all just waiting there, waiting Standing for someone. Standing at the river. Yeah, to shoot them up. They maybe they um, don't want to get their feet wet. Yeah, maybe they got fancy shoes. They on. don't. They probably do. I'm writing this whole typical. backstory fanfic yeah. thing in my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, something that happens in loads of games. So that was. Um, once we started sort of shortlisting it, oh, yeah. like way more than we could include. Um, oh yeah, Michelle E says, kind of sad Luke segment about the Skyrim Frost Troll and it didn't cut to a montage of his relationship with it culminating in hell is empty and all the demons are here. <laughs> Luke's had a really hard time with that Frost Troll. Yeah, he's got uh, real personal beef with that, <laughs> yeah. that particular guy. There was an amazing bit in one of the Christmas challenges with the, in fact, let's just have a clip because it's ace. You're joking. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> and all the demons are here! <laughs> yes, that was one of the best moments of the Oxbox <laughs> Xmas challenges. The biggest problem with this skeleton kill box though is that because you've heard Dark Souls is a legendarily difficult game, there is a chance you will keep trying to press on in that direction, just assuming that's how difficult the game is. Santiago here is saying, I've never finished Dark Souls and now you're telling me that I was going the wrong way. <laughs> so I think maybe there are people who just were like, oh, this is... How dark. Yeah. Like, like you say in the video, people are like, oh, yeah, I've heard Dark Souls is hard. Wow, it Man, really is hard. Yeah, I guess it's not for me. And then I just took the game back. I went the other other way and down to New Londo Ruins 
and there's literally a ghost that you can't hit. Like it's like, it has no corporeal form. Sounds and funny. unless you're cursed or have a very specific weapon, you can't fight the ghost. So I sort of ran down, like ran along this sort of wooden bridge and then this ghost came at me and I was like, <laughs> and like, then I had to run away again. Wow, unkillable super enemies. Yeah, I guess I that's like, just how Dark Souls that's is. That's the Dark Souls yeah. guarantee, so yeah. But uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad if you go in the correct direction. It's just it never tells you what that direction is. Thanks, Dark Souls. Alpha Deathclaw says, I hope Andy talking over the spoilers list never gets taken away. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> what are you trying to hide, games? Oh, I get it with Dark Souls. Yeah, that's fine. But I mean, that makes sense. But Red Dead Redemption 2, I thought we were friends. What are you worried I'll find? Something cool and secret? I'm a, pi I'm a bold pioneer and you shouldn't try and stop me, games. Oh, wait, it's the end. Well, so, good news for you. Yeah, no, I'm, I like talking of this spoiler. It's fun. I realised there was another, a gap where we could have more jokes. Like, yes. I don't do it in every video because it's no. going to get boring. But, um, but um, there will definitely be that at some point soon, I'd imagine. Yeah, well, a couple of them I've recorded, yes, I think. Exactly. But, yeah, yeah they're, they're fun. Just, um, yeah, no script for that bit, obviously. You just sort of just mm. start going. And just <laughs> keep, keep going until you run out of steam. It's great. Um, yeah, just a little gap to fit more jokes in. Oh, there we go. There we yeah. go. <laughs> hey! Now we can just admire now we can this just, fine beast. Now we can just look at the dog. Welcome to... We look at a dog. We look at a dog an hour. For <laughs> until we arrive at our waypoint. Okay, this video um, was you and Luke playing Far Cry New Dog. Ah, yes. New Sorry, Dog. New Dawn. Yep. New Dog City. <laughs> um, tell me a bit about, uh, about this event. Uh, it was good. There was an actual real dog there. Oh yeah, in we have the a room. Of you with that. Dog. Yeah. If you listen to the Let's Play, you can hear the dog barking. Why was the dog there? Just to be a dog. Just to be a cute dog. Just to uh, hang for out photo and be a ops. Dog. Yeah. Oh yeah. They said the email said he was available for photos and memes. <laughs> like if you wanted. To <laughs> Wait, did he write the meme, meme as well? The meme text. I guess. Yeah. He's like, mm, yes. This is poor on the keys. Um, mm. But yeah, uh, the game seems quite good. It's a spin-off, obviously, mm. but. Um, Seems decent. The only thing is they're adding light RPG elements, and while that was sort of fine in the bit we played, if it gets really annoying, I'll be upset. Yeah. Um, speaking of the dog, Alpha yes. Deathclaw again says, I'm sure Boomer is just fine, right? They've, I think they've canonically announced that the your lovable dog companion from the first game was killed. Boomer is toast. By the massive explosion that killed everything. So. Yeah. Uh, well, even if it had survived, they pointed out, even if it had survived the nuclear apocalypse, which is unlikely because it's a fragile dog, um, he would have died of old age anyway, it's set like 17 years afterwards. I feel like they've really gone out of their way to make sure you know this yeah. dog is dead. They were like, not only, there are two separate ways in which that dog is definitely dead. So if, they, they if I was in charge of that game and they'd said, is that lo lovely dog dead? I'd have been like, you never know. <laughs> Wouldn't have had to. I didn't have to go into horrible no, no, detail they, about they how made, it definitely they, was. They made a very big point of it, but then they were like, it's cool, we've got a new dog. We swapped it out, and also a warthog, so you can't complain. Um, Dog plus wart dog. warthog doesn't equal boomer. Dog plus warthog is wart dog, yeah. Yeah, wart dog. That's just mad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I feel like boomer's name was a spoiler. Oh, because he exploded. Well, yes, yeah. exactly, yeah. I guess, yeah. Um, do you know who is back? Um, Father Joseph Seed. Why, why didn't he explode? Well, I guess he survived. I mean, I thought, like, I've not completed Far Cry 5, but I thought he was pretty much, like, hit directly in the face with nukes. But, yeah. um, but apparently he's fine. Wow, okay. Walked it off, I guess. So he he's fine, but you won't let the dog live um, to an unnaturally long life. What if the dog is fused to Joseph Seed's back? Oh, and you, you like do, a you never, see, you never see his back in it. Yeah, do you? and then he and takes then, off his coat. He's like, I have something to show you. Yeah, and then Boomer's like, like, Wait, open your mind. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, spoiler this, alert. This stuff writes itself. Possible spoiler alert for Far Cry New Dawn. We can't yeah. be sure that that won't happen. Um, <laughs> One Gemini um, comments, Mike, Horatio licked my butt to bring him back to life. Ah yes, the famous hind lick manoeuvre. Ah, oh, good! Which <laughs> is such One a good pun. One point for you, One Gemini. I had to, a talented at drawing and also at puns. <laughs> so, good. Um, yeah. Hopefully just don't draw that one, please. I think I missed this bit. When did a boar lick your butt to bring you back to life? That seems... So the boar is capable of resuscitating you in combat. But, but it's not just a, a warthog. It's a it's a like medic a board. field medic. Yeah, sure. There's an amazing, amazing moment where I revive the the warthog, right. and then I get shot, and the warthog revives me. <laughs> slightly uh, get up. You slightly let the team down. Stupid here. pig. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to die on. reviving a pig. Oh yes, my god. You do. Oh my oh, god. No, it's all right. But you revived Horatio, who will now, I assume, save your life. <laughs> 
How? There you go. Yeah. How did it do that? How did the pig <laughs> save my life there? Are you giving symbiotic like relationship to her to a warthog? Yeah, host. and then the, and then the warthog's warthog giving the CPR to me. his little trotters to <laughs> CPR you. Yeah, all right. Or lick, licking my butt. Sure, I mean, either. either Which I, I'd imagine just uh, got me up in surprise. Yeah, you're what like, are you, What are you doing? Whoa. All right, back in the fight. Jeez. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's having a little rest. And then, oh, geez. And uh, Michelle E yeah. says, Mike, do you think there's, there's a large subsection of the population that just latently desires to be cannibals? <laughs> yes, and they all work at Bethesda. I swear, every Elder Scrolls and Fallout game has at least two factions that are like, oh, I can sense that you, you like me, <laughs> you feel the hunger too. The desire for human flesh is inevitable. And I'm like, I'm carrying three times my body weight in stuff and a full third of that is just food. There's no reason to eat people. Yeah, I've got a wheel of cheese about my person. Yeah, it does seem that um, cannibalism is a really prevalent theme in yeah. all of those. Games. In all those games, yeah, not just the post-apocalyptic ones, but the, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's... just generally. They're like, <laughs> I, li I like the idea of, like, you're like, hello, and they're like, oh, I you see like, that you're yeah. like me, and you too, hunger. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, hello. No, I was just asking if you knew where the wheels of cheese are. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah, me too. Yeah. That would, no, that would be weird, eating people. <laughs> I certainly don't thirst for human blood. That there are two strange. types of cannibals, aren't there? There's the, the, the ones who are like, yeah, come on in, have some delicious dinner. Like the ones that seem to get a thrill out of feeding people to you. Oh, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah and then the other kind that are just trying to trap you and then eat you. Yeah. yeah. More honest kind of cannibal, I feel like <laughs> that kind. They're not trying to... <laughs> yeah, they're upfront about it. Yeah. Which, you know, you've got to respect that. Exactly. To a degree. You don't have to respect, <laughs> don't have to respect cannibals. Um, yeah, but yeah, good good comments this week, everyone. Thank you very much. Yes, um, thanks for watching. Yeah, do keep them coming in and we'll uh, we'll talk about those next week. That's it for Show of the Week. Thanks for watching. But before you go, wouldn't you know it, it's only like Hog Day. <gasps> Is it like Groundhog Day? Similar. You press the like button and if it turns blue, we can look forward to six more weeks of videos. <gasps> what if it doesn't turn blue? I don't know. Probably six more weeks of videos as well. I didn't invent like Hog Day. Pretty sure you did. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. You're trying to ruin Lycog Day for me. You've ruined every Lycog Day so far. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a curse. <laughs> All right, do you want to get lunch? Yeah, can we get some like hot soup or something? It's still freezing in here. Yeah, well, if you paid the heating bills. I told you, it's the ghosts in the haunted sofa. There's no ghosts in the haunted sofa. Oh, it's haunted sofa, honestly, imagine. Get out. Oh, they already did. Well, good.